Hi, Archie. Hi. How are you? Good. Tell me something about the hiking trip going up and down the mountain that you remember the best, one of your favorite memories. Mm. Um, let me see. The best thing I remember is maybe playing my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> you play your iPad when you are hiking? Hmm? How do you play your iPad when you are hiking? When I come, when I go back to, get back to the hotel. So the evening part, when you yeah. are resting. Yeah. <laughs> Was there any part of the hike that you liked? No, because it was, um, the first day I walk 10 um, oh, actually, kilometers. Yeah. Yeah, KM kilometers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the first day, 10. It was the second uh, day, 8. Oh, oh, I remember. Ah. The first day, 10 kilometers, and the second day, 6 kilometers. 10 and 6? Yeah. Wow. That is a lot of work. Yeah. I am, I am very proud of you. You are a super climber. Look, look at this. I, I draw this yesterday. I draw the words. All right. I will share our screen. We are moving into Minecraft world today. We are done with the lab. What, oh. what, why is this all upside down? Yeah, why is it all upside down? I couldn't see it upside down, the, the screen. Oh, uh, didn't your mom tell you this class is in upside down reading? Isn't it? They say that if the blood rushes to your head, you can read better. <laughs> well, guess what? Our five friends are finished with their school chapter, being in school, in the lab, and now they are back in Minecraft world. So they must have their VR goggles, their VR headsets on. I love looking at the title of the chapters because the author of this book gives really funny titles. Here he wrote, everything looks better by the light of a sea pickle. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. And Jody starts out by saying, I can't believe Poe is missing this, said Jody. And for basketball practice. Huh, so that means there must only be four of them in the Minecraft world and that Poe did not join them because he is practicing basketball. He likes basketball practice, said Morgan. Yeah, said Jody. But is anything better than this? Jody pointed past the glass wall of their base under the sea. Remember that structure that Ash made that looks like an elevator shaft going from the bottom of the ocean up to the surface of the ocean and three sides of it are glass. So it's like being in a reverse aquarium. There was a whole world to explore out there, and she wouldn't miss out on that for anything. Jody is super excited. Since Poe wasn't with them, 
they had all agreed not to travel too far. They needed to return to their base at the end of the day. That way, they would all still spawn in the same place. So I have learned about this spawning point in Minecraft that whenever they are going to take their VR headsets off, when they put them on again and they come back into Minecraft, they're gonna come back to the last place they set as their spawn point. So if they're traveling over a long distance, like when they first got, got in their boat for the first time and they went, 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 remember when they came to Mushroom Island and they said, we better make a new spawn point here because when they left the game and came back into the game, they didn't want to have to start all the way back on the beach and do that whole trip across the ocean again. But Poe is not with them, so Poe cannot reset his spawn point or spawning point. So when he comes back into the game next time, he's going to go back to the very last place he set his spawning point, which I believe is this home, this elevator shaft, this space that they made in the ocean. And so they don't want to change that for them either because they want all five of them to have the same spawn point or spawning point the next time they come. So that is good thinking. So they would all still spawn in the same place when Poe rejoined them. Let's look at this word rejoined because it is a great way for us to practice looking at prefixes, root words, and suffixes. So the root word here, that's the main word, the meaning, is join. Join is when we combine two things or two groups. Re is a prefix that means again, to join again. And ed is a suffix that we would put at the end of a verb to make it past tense. So they know that later Poe will join them again. Ash insisted, you know, it's tricky actually today with Zoom because I'm not sure if it's Wi-Fi or something, but here on my iPad, when I move something, there's a delay before it moves in the Zoom meeting. And so if I'm moving my finger along on my iPad, the red dot in the Zoom meeting seems to be about two seconds behind it. So you might see the dot looking like it's on completely the wrong word than the one I am saying because there's a little delay. So I'm trying to look at the dot. I'm trying to move the dot on my iPad, not look at my iPad, and only look at the dot moving in the Zoom meeting on the computer. And then when I read the word, it will match the dot. But it's tricky to do because I'm not, I'm moving my finger on the iPad without looking at the iPad. <laughs> so I will, I will try my best. Okay. Ash insisted they needed to stock up on supplies anyway. Stock up means to get a lot, get more than you need right now and save some for later. Between their recent battles, that means the battles that just happened, and the long boat ride, they'd, now do you think this is gonna be they would, they had, or they did? Let's finish reading the sentence and see. They had gone through a lot of their stuff. Yeah, they, they, had, had. they had gone through a lot of their stuff, a lot of their inventory, a lot of their supplies. So they need to get more stuff so that they can be ready for anything because they do not know what will happen next. And Morgan liked the idea of scouting the area. Scouting the area is when you go ahead and look around and see see what's coming so you know what to expect. They could check for any problems or dangers nearby. 
then they would know what to expect. Hey, that's what I just said. When they started to follow the map again. Oops, I have to wait. <laughs> it's moving around. Okay. I think the map is leading us somewhere underwater. Remember, they are following a treasure map. Said Morgan, we can probably swim the rest of the way. Soon, Ash said, for today, let's just see what there is to see. I don't think they wanna do too much without Poe being with them. They just wanna scout, they want to scout ahead, check things out, regroup, see what supplies they have in their inventory, get new supplies for their inventory, and just kind of take stock of where they are, what they have, and get an idea for what's coming next. It's kind of a day that's not too exciting, but more getting prepared. But as it turned out, there was a lot to see. I think this day might feel a little bit for them like vacation because they're going to see some really beautiful things. Now that she wasn't fleeing from phantoms, that means running away from phantoms, Jody was able to take in the beauty of her surroundings. She was surprised at how alive the ocean was. There was movement everywhere, so nothing was standing still. From darting schools of fish to swaying seagrass, her heart leapt for joy when a dolphin approached them. It seemed as curious about them as she was about it. Jody noticed that she, dun, 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 dun. Jody noticed that she swam a little faster when the dolphin was nearby. She tried to keep up with it, but after a while it darted away. Poe would be sorry he missed that. Let's see what we got on this picture. Well, you can see we added a few dolphins here. And you can see the coral here. So if we look just at the illustration, I think this right here is Jody, and this is Harper. And here's a dolphin and another dolphin. I think this is coral, and I think this is kelp. All right, we'll bring our dolphins back into the picture here. They'd, this is, they had each drunk a potion of water breathing. As a backup, Harper brought along a block of magma. Remember the magma, if you put it on the bottom of the ocean, it will make a column of bubbles going up to the surface. And if you swim over and you put yourself right inside that column of bubbles, then you have air that you can breathe. So if they needed air, she could place the magma on the ground and produce another column of bubbles. But there was plenty of magma already in the area. It was easy to spot, softly glimmering orange in the distance. And the magma wasn't the only source of underwater light. Every now and then, they found small glowing green cylinders. Harper had told her about them earlier in the day. They were called sea pickles, and Jody thought they were wondrous. That means wonderful. So we can take a look here at, in Minecraft, what sea pickles look like. So this is what sea pickles look like in Minecraft. There is a sea pickle farm. Also, we have, they had have said here that these looked like glowing green
green cylinders. And I want to show you the shape of a cylinder. So I have some examples. When you get older, you might learn about cylinders in math class because you will learn how to figure out how much space is inside the cylinder. And you will use some math formulas that include things like the height, how tall it is, and the radius, which is half the diameter. In one of our last classes, we said that if you take a circle and you cut it in half, the length of the line from one side to the other side is the diameter and the radius is half of that. So you start right smack dab in the center of the circle and draw a line to the edge of the circle and that distance is called the radius. But the shape of a cylinder looks like this. So you have a circle at one end and a circle at the other end and then you fill it in. So a cylinder is three-dimensional. These batteries, these batteries are examples of cylinders. This log is an example of a cylinder. You know what's really interesting about looking at the circle at the end of a log is you can count uh -huh. things. Yeah and find out how old the tree was. This can of Coca-Cola is a cylinder. These cans right here of food that you can eat, those are all cylinders. These candles right here that you can light, these are all cylinders. This is a very famous building. And no, it is. Um, maybe like this. Yeah, leaning. It's called the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's very famous, but it's in the shape of a cylinder, kind of. When we were looking in the laboratory of tools that we can use for measuring things, we saw this one here. This one is called a graduated cylinder. And so there's from here to here is a cylinder. And the lines on it help you measure the volume of liquid that you put into it. And so you will be measuring something called ML, which equals milliliters. That's not how you spell liters. Like this. Or some people might say CC. So those are cylinders. So those are the sea pickles. But by far, Jody's favorite thing was the coral. These weren't the small, fragile pebbles she had seen in Doc's class. They looked like great tree branches, and they came in every color of the rainbow. She took every piece she found. She was sure she'd, she would find a use for them, even if they were only good for decoration. These little rocks, we call them pebbles, pebbles. So they're very small. Here's a picture of pebbles. These are pebbles. After a while, after a while, Morgan signaled that they should turn around. Remember, underwater they can't speak, so they use hand signals and pointing to communicate with each other. As they swam back, Jody made a mental list. That means just in her mind, a list of things she wants to remember. A list of everything she needed to tell Poe about. When their undersea base came into view, she was surprised to see a figure 
That's like the outline of a person standing inside, standing inside of it. It had to be Poe. Maybe he'd got out, he had got out of basketball practice early. So here is looking at their, we have these dolphins all over the place here. This is looking inside their glass structure. And you can see when you look in it, there's some bunk beds here. So there's two beds, two beds, and this looks like bed number five. And there's someone standing there. Hmm. It doesn't look like Poe. Yeah, it doesn't look like Poe. But when they swam up to the base, nobody was there. Dun, 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 dun. That sounds like a mystery. That's really strange, Jody said, once they were safely inside the structure. I could, I could have sworn I saw somebody through the glass. When we say I could have sworn, that does not mean we are swearing or saying any bad words. It just means I'm sure, I'm 100% I'm sure, or I'm 90% sure, I'm almost completely sure. Morgan shrugged. Maybe it was a trick of the light. A trick of the light, what does that mean? Well, sometimes when we think we see something and then it's not there and we're like, huh, I really thought that was there, but now it's not. Was I seeing things? What happened? We might say, well, maybe it was a trick of the light. And so we just got confused or tricked by um, a ghost. <laughs> not a ghost. <laughs> I don't know where that expression came from. You know, maybe if the sun is coming in the window through the glass and then it catches something shiny in the room and it flashes somewhere and we look up and think we saw something and then we realize, oh, it was just the light coming in and catching something shiny, but it wasn't anything more than that. Maybe that's where the expression came from. But if we say, maybe it was just a trick of the light, we're saying, huh, maybe I didn't see anything at all. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I was wrong. But then Ash says, no, I think Jody is right. Ash said, as she lifted the lid of the group's treasure chest, someone was here. So she looks in the treasure chest. What makes you say that? Harper asked. I stashed a few things in this chest before we left. I wanted to free up room in my inventory. Oh another dolphin. Morgan hopped in place. Did somebody steal from us again? Remember how Doc Culpepper had made six VR headsets and one is missing? Hmm. They wonder what just happened. It's a mystery. Ash shook her head. The opposite, somebody put stuff in here. So someone came in, but instead of stealing and taking things from them, they put more into their treasure chest. They added to their, well, not into their treasure chest. They put more into their storage, their inventory. They gave them extra things. There are more potions of water breathing and, how do you say this? Scoot, scoot, I think it's, Scoot. Morgan's jaw dropped. What is scoot? Jody asked. Ash held up a small green orb. It's a material dropped by baby turtles when they grow up. It can be used to make a special helmet. A helmet that helps you hold your breath while underwater, added Morgan. So it can be useful 
this is a good thing to have in their inventory and someone came and gave it to them. Maybe this is all just a glitch, Jody suggested, like some computer malfunction. They're trying to find a reason for it. Or maybe whoever is in here with us, the mystery man, wants to help, said Harper. But if that's true, why be sneaky about it? Morgan said. He shook his head. Sorry, but I still think we are being led into a trap. Dun, 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 dun. No offense, said Jody, but for once, I hope you're wrong. Morgan gazed out through the glass. Me too, he said. This is what Scute looks like in Minecraft. So here you can see it next to a sea turtle. You know, we saw the sea, was it the sea pickle farm? This is a scute farm. And then here is the helmet that you can make from it. And there is someone wearing the helmet, which they said you can use to help you breathe underwater, right? It says that scoot can be used to make a special helmet, which helps, oh, it doesn't help you breathe. It helps you hold your breath while underwater. All right, we have come to the end. I see right here, we are at slide 25 of 25. So chapter eight must be in another section, which we will start tomorrow. So I don't need to put a star. What we do need to say is... So long. Cheddar Chip. Bye. Bye, Archie.